Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single person that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. He will be by later to do all of the recaps. Make sure. You follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. So did Sue Surf overplay his hand in his face off versus Calico? I see a lot of people that are online talking, whether it be on Twitter, Instagram, about the face off that him and Sue Surf had Calico, that is, respectfully, and Sue Surf had yesterday with Jay Black hosting it. Yo, Sue Surf, oh man, like. If you watch the way Geechee, Gotti, and Loaded Lux did their thing, it's not much to talk about. You already know the energy. We know what we're here for. You know, it's going to be one of them ones. All of the right answers. When I say people feel like, and I feel like, and they feel like, that he might have overplayed his hand, was Calico has a unrealistic way of getting people emotional uh, let me go that way oh let me you don't know you don't you don't got them type of instincts at all I have no fucking shots fly at you nigga you dumb nigga niggas try to kill me he don't even have to get super gangster with you he basically just talked to him like he was like yo i beat you already i'm going to beat you twice like i'm looking into the future i already beat you and i'm going to beat you again I will beat you three times if need be. If they pay me to beat... Like, Calico's talking about battle rap. Like, Calico is literally talking battle rap because he's a rapper. Surf goes with the street angles. If you would've got shot this many times, you would've died. Uh, they don't consider you... See, he was saying, like, they don't consider you where they put the hitmans at and with the Tay Rocks and things. I don't really think that's true. Like, when it comes to Calico and Calico's legacy... I've said Calico has taken an unconventional rap route in battle rap. He does not sit on his battle rap success like, yo, this is the only thing that I got going on. You know, he doesn't translate it to trying to move on to do bigger. And that's the only, that's cool. He do music. It is what it is. But a lot of artists that are in that position, a lot have radio. You know, Gishi Gai does a podcast. People have clothes and they try to expand. You got Conceited, Hitman, Charlie Clips, and all the other folks that are on Wild and Out. I only see Calico doing rap and like rap music sometimes, battle rap, rap music and battle rap. Calico looks at it like I come in here, I do what I want, I beat y'all, I get paid, and I go on about my regular life. Sue Surf looks at things from the superstar perspective like, oh, they call me, I get these 150s, I get 50s, and this, that, and the third. Okay. Sue Surf beat John John in his last battle. If he does not win, this is like to me, it went from a, you know, we'll see what happens and woo de woo. This is now a must win battle for Sue Surf. Like he has to win convincingly versus Calico. And he made it like that less than 12 hours ago. He has now turned this battle into a must win. You know, if he don't win versus Calico, he looks crazy. Like, crazier than he's probably ever looked in any scenario. Like, bro, like, what? Like, come on, fam. Like, what do you... I couldn't even understand. Like, I'm like, there ain't no... Every time you put these niggas in realign, I got to do some realignments. Like, why, where, where was the suggestion that, yo, just let the nigga talk whatever he wants to talk. I'll see you tomorrow. Where was that? I'm only here so I don't get fined. You gave <laughs> you gave Cal all the ammunition he needed to talk. Because when Surf went on that long tangent at the end, like if you would have got shot, like I got shot, you know, you stupid, don't nobody talk about no street. Cal was just like this. Like you didn't hear him even respond no more. They brought Jazz and Gaddis up. Nobody, he didn't even respond anymore. Because what he set out to do, which was make you mad and, and make you overplay your hand, is what he did. He got you where he needed to get you. Once I got you there, I ain't got to do it no more. And, and Calico said it. He's going to wake up, get breakfast, come here and lose. 
Like, he already has it planned out. You're going to show up, you're going to lose. Like, because he's gotten into your head. He's emotionally. He's getting to your... Look at him, look at him. Emotion, 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 emotion. Like, this was the mo that was the most emotional I've seen Sue Surf in the face-off probably ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, he definitely... He got under your skin. And I know there's going to be some folks that feel like... Uh, Calico didn't win the face-off, whatever the case may be. But face-offs, to me, are not really a winner-loser thing. It just kind of, like, sets the tone. And sometimes you see some niggas just let niggas talk in face-off. Like, they just let niggas just be yapping. They be like, all right, cool. All right? When, when, we, show up, when we show up tomorrow, because I've seen people show up at face-offs, talk crazy to each other. The other person just lets it happen. And then tomorrow, or when the battle happens, the person that was getting barked on is like, nah, this is what you signed up for. This is what you're going to get. Um, he basically, Calico stood on the fact that, yo, all the people that he asked for, he got or he beat. Like, you know, he asked for Gichi Gotti, debatable. He asked for Hitman. I had Calico winning. He asked for Verb. I had uh, Calico winning that too. Like, Calico's, res the respect on his wins don't be the same as other niggas. I don't know why, but Calico don't really lose battles like that. Like, he, like, if you look at his last like 10 joints, he's probably won like eight or eight, about maybe eight in a debatable or two in his last 10 joints. He, I, to me, I feel like he beat Ill Will in the parking lot. To me, I feel like he beat Big K. I'm going back some now. You know what I'm saying? The only one I didn't like was them two on twos. I didn't like them two, two on twos, nasty work. I did not like either of the two on twos. Obviously, the first one where uh, Briz and them had the, the big Royal Rumble and shit. I ain't like that one, and I didn't like the second one. You the mob, nigga. We the mob, nigga. We always on our job. You motherfuckers can't be us or see us. Nigga, we... I was like, I don't know what... God, I hated that one. I really... I never watched that battle again. I'm just making it... Since that joint happened, 2-on-2 two two versus T-Top and Twerk, I hated that joint. I never watched it again. And I probably never will. Um, But in this scenario... I think the pressure goes off of Calico and on the suit, sir. You talk so crazy, you kind of have to win. Like, you have now made this a must win. It went from a, you know, it's a good job. We'll see what happens with the Wolves. Made the best man win competition, sport, theory of the era and shit. <laughs> you kind of, ain't no way. They just not give you no passes at all. Like, the bar is set so high that he has got to win. Like, he has to win. He told that man you would have died. Like you would have died if you got shot like I got shot. Listen, and where I ain't trying to test the theory of who got shot the most and it makes you more gangster than the next person to get shot. Ah, I'm not trying to test that theory. Trust me. Bullets hot. Bullets burn. I don't want to test that theory. But um, you know, Sue Surf does a lot of the He said he was he was really getting at him for being in Detroit. But you wasn't really involved. You just grew up there, whatever the case may be. He tried to compare it to, like, you know, if a kid is growing up in a neighborhood, just because he's from there and went to school there means he's from there, whatever the case may be. But Calico was just like, yo, my nigga, like, I could go wherever I want in my city. And Detroit is, <laughs> if you know Detroit, shout out to everyone in Detroit. Shout out to everyone in the Midwest, first and foremost. Detroit is a very, <laughs> Detroit ain't like a lot of other cities, man. Detroit is a very, very, very rough city. I've been to Detroit, and when I tell you, I got a lot of love in the Midwest. I got family in the Midwest. I got family in Ohio and things like that, and Michigan. But Detroit is a rough city, I must say. But uh, he tried to like do that, and then he, he talked about, Calico talked about how he beat him already, and Surf did this whole thing about, you know, I don't care about these other leagues. They're all like, ARP, all you other leagues, if you ever book Sue Surf, you're booking them at your own risk. And if he shows up and doesn't give you any of the material, <laughs> like, if you lose betting booking him, you deserve to lose your money. Because he's already told you, like, he's not going to bring his A game. And Calico is focused. I love, love, love what Calico is focused on and what he represents. Winning! He represents and wants to win. Like, how do you not wants to win in battle rap. Like, everybody gets so confused with all of these other cognitive issues, but it's like, where are the wins? You want to win. Do you not want to win? What are you here for? He, he's asking them over and over and over. Do you want to win? Nigga, you don't want to win. Nigga, you don't care about winning. I'm like, yes, yes, I'm here to win. 
Nothing else. Ah, it, it was kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. But, like I said, Sue Surf has now turned this into a must-win battle. And don't get it twisted. You know I got it. It's, it caught, it's, it's ready for a special day like today. It is ready for a special day. It is ready for a special day like today. Fuck around with the fuck around. You fuck around and when you fuck around today. And see if see what goes down. I promise. I'm just turning on the camera, just getting just getting this thing started, you know what I'm saying? Making sure that we in the groove, right? Showtime SP will be here. Play if you want, any of y'all tonight. It's ready. It'll be going first class. We, get, we deliver mail on Sundays. Let's make sure we do this the right way today. Um, salute to everybody. That's on the card, you know what I'm saying? I don't really got too many people. I got a lot of debatables. I got a lot of people battle going one way or another. Only clear battle I have tonight. I do have Rump Nitty beating T-Rex 3-0. That's just, I do have him winning. I have him winning every single round. The Rum Nitty that I've seen in the last five years, I don't know any performance that he's had, even in battles that he didn't win, that I've seen a Rex performance in the last five years that'll be. It is what it is. I mean, we can test the theory. We're going to see it later. I'm not going in with a preconceived notion or going to say somebody won a battle that they didn't win because quite obviously, if T-Rex beats Rum Nitty because he beat him before, if he beats him, we'll get on him. We'll say it happened. But uh, that's just my clearest clearest win of all of the wins tonight and I think that it's probably a consensus I think they got it like 86 to 14 or something like that and uh in his last one uh it was easy to block captain <laughs> easy to block captain won that pretty clear I I had it at 30 y'all can have it how you want but uh yes yeah, who surf um you set the bar pretty pretty high with this battle with Cal and I just hope that you keep the same energy because the same fans that loved you when you beat John John and you was on your way up, they're gonna be right there. If things do not go your way, or if you Jersey, or anything like that, they're gonna be the first ones there to remind you and let you know. That's what I say, you know what I'm saying? I know it's clear and I know they hear you, but this love is all smoke and mirrors. You are only good as your last battle. You are only good as your last performance. If you do not replicate that performance and bring it back in 30 days, if you do not bring that performance back, niggas are going to be on your brake lights. They are going to wow on you. I did see New Jersey twerking. Easy to block having getting into it yesterday. Uh, you know, about a battle. Maybe they're going to battle again. You know, it was in each other's face. It was getting, it was getting a little hot. It was getting hit. It was, it was, it was a lot of energy there. You know what I'm saying? And it's probably all around the fact that these two battled before in the one round battle. Twerk got him out of there. Uh, Twerk has had, you know, had not been around for a little minute after the car accident and some of his ups and downs and things like that. And during that time, Easy to Block Captain got all the energy. These battle rappers be knowing, my nigga. Trust me, they be knowing. When somebody else comes along, they're getting buzzed, they see their name and the algorithm, the algorithm, they see their name, they getting booked. They booked this, they booked this nigga easy to block captain for a one-on-one -on -one battle with Murder Mood. Bullshit! 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 Salute to my nigga easy to block captain. Son, they booked this nigga for a one-on-one -on -one battle versus Murder Mook, son. Nigga only been here for like a year, dog. They booked him for a one-on-one. -on -one. You think that the other battle rappers that are on URL? There's a lot of niggas who can't even get booked for a volume. There's a lot of niggas who can't even get booked for anything. Like, they're not getting booked for nothing. Some of these niggas been sitting on the bench so long they became the bench. No need to call no names. It's not the blame game. They booked Easy Black Hat for one-on-one -on -one battle versus murder move. I'm going to let that sit there. Niggas is jealous. Not saying that's twerk, but they want to get this nigga out the way. Like, niggas like, yo, I got to get him gone. Because while this is happening, all the fans... All of the following, all of the attention, all the admiration is going towards this man. Easy, you have now become a target. But we are all going to talk later on. I just wanted to uh, put something out there to make it fair. Uh, salute to every single person that watches this content, whether religiously or passing. My guy Showtime SP is fresh off vacation. He's been on vacation with his family all week. Um, 
He's going to be ready. He's going to be energetic. And he's going to be everything that we need to break down what we need to break down. And I cannot wait to see my guy later. It's going to be lit. Salute to every single one of y'all. Click and blam. Make sure you follow me on the gram. We got some things that we're going to be giving away. And that's all I'm going to say. Good game. Surf. <laughs> you got into what you got into. I hope you got all your bars memorized at the venue. Because if not, Calico go put it on the menu. Oh, man. Wait till we can tell you. Gang, gang.